Hello, I'm Kevin Houston, and I want to talk to you today about mathematical induction. So, induction is applied when we have an infinite number of statements indexed by the natural numbers. So, for example, take the statement 6 to the power n minus 1 is divisible by 5 for all n in the natural numbers. Uh, so, if we took n is 1,000, then 6 to the power 1,000 minus 1 is divisible by 5. Now, this might appear a bit surprising. Now, it's not sufficient to prove this for a sample of natural numbers, whether that sample involves hundreds, millions, or even billions of numbers. We have to prove it for all n. Uh, also, taking a very high number, such as 1,000, won't do it. So, induction is like domino topping. This is where the dominoes are stood on their ends in such a way that when you push the first one over, it knocks a second domino over. That, in turn, knocks down the third, and so on. Provided all the dominoes are arranged so that each knocks down the next one, then all of them will fall. The process of induction is similar. We prove that if the kth statement is true, then the k plus one -th statement is true, i.e. the truth of one statement implies the truth of the next. This is analogous to one domino knocking down the next one. So the first statement is true, push the first domino, then all the statements are true, all the dominoes get knocked down. Here we have a number of dominoes all lined up, so that if one of them were to fall over, it would knock the next one down, and they're all like that. If I was to take some domino at random, like this one for instance, if this falls over, it will knock the next one down. And they're all set up like that, so that if I push the first one, then they will all go down, like so. Let's begin to make this idea precise. First, the principle of mathematical induction requires that we have a sequence of statements indexed by the natural numbers, and there are plenty of these. So, for example, we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and so on, all the way up to n minus 1 plus n, and that's equal to 1 half of n times n plus 1 for all natural numbers. So the n is indexed uh, this particular statement. Uh, we'll, we'll actually see that this statement's uh, proved in, in a few minutes. 